totally obliterated that. Left wow. hand layup, like a walk in the park for Luigi Court. Default tandem, but so far rendered ineffective. This game by the defense of LaSalle, the kick out. Kawaling. You know, that's the athleticism and talent that you know Kawaling is capable of. It really it, it make, it makes you wonder, it makes you scratch your head why it's very few, far and few, that he takes it like that. That's only four points of J.R. Kawaling. Strip is being run a run here being made by FEU. Romeo, yes! Four to nothing run by the Tamarals. Here they come. They are just within three, DJ. We have a timeout on the floor and everybody's on their feet. Of course, he's going to hope to do that for a win. Four for four at the line is Garcia. They got five to five. First attempts for the jump with the rebound. That was big. Valentino picked up by Romeo. And look at Eximiliano all over Marata. This is a special substitution by Coach Glenn to match him up. Valentino missing. Oh, One second, the separating game and shot clock. Romeo looking for the lead. Oh, big tap by Joshua Webb. That was a huge tap by Joshua Webb, recognizing he could not get the rebound with the position he had, but tapping it out of trouble. How about that shot, DJ, by Romeo with so much time to spare? I know, I mean, you, you thought they'd hold off at least a shot. Look at this tap, smart tap there by Joshua Webb to an area where he knew he had team only from the foul line, 11 out of 20. Oh, a steal here, Eximiliano got it, but there is a foul. Wow, but there was a foul call. He was his left hand holding onto the waist, and I'll agree with that with my naked eye, but it's looked at as a replay. In fact, you saw RR with a bit of a smile. Check it out there. Look for his left hand. Okay, horrible angle. Yeah, this angle we can't, we're not gonna see it. There you go. Still, Andrew still covered. Okay, oh, but he got another steal. steal. And the basket. Oh, R.R. Garcia oh, after a horrible shooting right, afternoon. Come here, come here. here is the steal completed by R.R. Garcia to tie it up at 68 all. 14 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks for Garcia. He's putting up well below his average of 17 points per second leading scorer of FEU has been off today. Joshua Webb just takes it straight to the face of the FEU 68. Cruz. And there you go, the rookie Cruz. With the Romeo. With extensive minutes. Beautiful pass. pass. Beautiful pass there by J.R. Cavalling. Curiel Cervantes who finally makes a basket after missing three straight, including in the last two in regulation. And FEU on top by two. Let's listen in to Aaron Torrejon. Unlike the start of today's game, there was a lot of tension during the huddle, but there was definitely not a lack of spirit as the boys cheered each other on during the huddle when Coach Adindo told the boys that this is our opportunity. We've made mistakes, we weren't conscious of the time, and we didn't play as a team. Yeah, going left. Nowhere to go. Puts it up. Oh, yes! Wow. Tolentino. Sanga, rarely used in this game, is on the floor. More of a catch-and-shoot guy is Sanga. Eight That's seconds right. on the clock and he gets blocked wow. by Webb. Ramos from the outside. Can't get it to trickle in. What? No Sanga, right place at the right time there, getting the offensive rebound in the first basket of overtime. By God, we see Atkins is pushing it. Oh, and he gets it. High screen by Pippo Nwandu, pick and roll play. Nwandu. Tough shot. Oh, another big shot here by FBU. And actually, that's, in my opinion, that's the guy they should have gone to in their last play rather than a handoff to Sanga because he has the advantage in the paint against the lighter guys. Garcia, the floater, and freaking oh, going away.